Hey guys, Cody here with Import Image Racing. We have the 2022 WRX behind me and we've done something that we thought was pretty stupid. We put 20 inch wheels on it. It originally started as a troll for the comment section of Instagram and TikTok and all that fun stuff. We're just getting a kick out of it. So we're like, ah, we're gonna put 20s on it. So we put the exact same wheel on it in a larger size. So it is the 206 Flow Formed Cosmos XT206R and it's a 20 by nine wheel now, instead of an 18 by nine and a half. We had to trim the fenders a little bit to get them to fit, but I think it was worth it. None of us expected it to actually look good. <laughs> we put it on the ground and we were like, that actually doesn't look bad. I'm excited to show you guys. I think you guys will find it the same way. Some of you may not like it, but I think a lot of you guys are gonna be like, that actually looks good. I'm gonna show you actually how we modified the fenders to get them to fit first, and then we'll kind of show you a little clip of the wheels. The front actually did stick out just a little bit, but it was sticking out quite a bit with the nine and a half wheels too. The nine and a half wheels, we basically had no camber at all, and we just had the car lifted up enough that it wouldn't rub. With this setup, we have the wheel cambered just a little bit, just enough that it goes past that fender arch. So this is a 235, 35 tire. So we got a 35 sidewall on it, not quite as wide as what we had with the 245s with the nine and a halfs. So this is only a nine inch wheel. You can see I can just barely get my finger in between the tire and the fender guard here and the nice thing is with these fender guards the the metal is really thin so there's not like a real big you know section that would go in there that you have to roll it's tucked in you could add a little bit more camber kind of get you up here and show you what that looks like while you are looking at this just remember we did not modify this one at all so the back here is a slightly different story we have this 20 inch wheel uh, same thing, 235, 35 all around. And we have pretty much the same camber in the rear as we do the front. We are still on the stock control arms and tow arms and such, and we have not gotten the car lined because we're gonna be putting multiple sets of wheels on this. However, you could do control arms, tow arms, and adjust it how you need it. But we have maybe one to one and a half degrees negative camber back here, pretty much matching the front. This was catching the fender guard and we did trim it. And that's the really nice thing about this car. A lot of people don't like these fender flares, but this thing pops right off. And rather than rolling the fender and heating it up and, and having to worry about cracking the paint or warping it or damaging it, we just cut the freaking fender guard. Open up the door, grab onto your flare. Now there's two pop clips here on the back. You don't actually have to take them out if you don't want to. You could probably trim it just how it sits, but you got these two pop clips. Now we can pull the rest of this thing off. So when I say that we cut the fender flare, this is literally what we cut. Actually, the camera might not even focus on those. It's really not a lot at all. So what we did, you'll see this is the back section where the pop clips go in and as it trails up towards the center of the tire, it actually already from factory curves in a little bit. You can see it there. Actually, we didn't have an issue back here. It was a little bit closer to the front. So you'll see it naturally comes back out. Right here where it starts to curve back out, we basically took a razor blade and skinned it, coming from the, basically like the center up, and then we'd come back and then back. We did like three passes, took off maybe half an inch total of plastic material. Really simple, and we have a ton left to go. I mean, you could really trim this out if you wanted to, but eventually you are gonna be at metal anyway, so there's only so far you can go with it. You put this back on. You can see where this comes up. That's about where it starts to curve in. And you can actually see like right about there is where we started to cut and brought it down and feathered it out. So as soon as there's weight on the rear of the car or the rear you know, hits a bump or something, it actually does just push up with just enough camber and it clears. We have yet to rub in the rear with this setup. So it's pretty cool. All right, that's all I have for you guys. Just want to give you a little bit of information on these wheels and how we have them set up, but let's go ahead and get into some shots now.